Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my kitchen, I'm Yasmin. Today's recipe is this incredibly delicious toasted coconut with jasmine rice. Stick, along, stick around long enough and you'll see how I make this. Before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and click the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. And of course, welcome back to my returning subscribers. Let's start with some easy prepping tips that will make your life much simpler and easier in the kitchen. Many of these tips I learned while I was in culinary school, as well as during my days as a chef instructor. It's always important to rinse the rice thoroughly. It helps to get rid of dirt as well as starchiness. And this is something I've been doing since my childhood days of cooking. I'm sure that's a trick you probably also use regularly. I like to soak the rice and this is a tip that I learned from one of my chef colleagues. This helps the rice to absorb the liquid better. I'm to measure out half a cup of sweetened coconut. You could certainly use the unsweetened, but I think the sweetened coconut works perfectly. Uh, gives the rice a nice balance. All of the ingredients list for the recipe is in the description box. You always do want to try to measure and chop and dice and mince all of the ingredients before you start to cook. It's so helpful in terms of speeding up the time and making the process simpler. I'm using two cloves of garlic. One of the most important tips is to use prep, prep bowls and I use different size prep bowls to organize my ingredients. And for ingredients that cook at very similar time and are cut very similarly, I can consolidate them into one bowl. This way you don't have a whole bunch of dishes to be cleaning up afterwards. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your preparation tips? Leave a comment. Another thing that's important to me beside the preparation in my kitchen is using very fresh ingredients. Fresh garlic, fresh onions, a lot of the herbs I grow in my garden, which comes in very, very handy. Two unique herbs that I grow are broadleaf thyme, also known as Mexican mint or Cuban oregano, and I also grow married man pork. But they're also uh, known as a type of basil. It has a very distinct licorice, licorice uh, type of flavor. It's quite delicious, actually. I'm using a, I would say this is a two quart pot. For most of the rice I cook, I use a saucepan. In this recipe, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, but you can use any type of fat you like. Toast in the coconut, this will bring out the sweetness. You could also toast the coconut in the oven. You use a little bit less oil that way. The coconut will burn too quickly, so you need to keep a close eye on it. See that? Add some more olive oil. Onion. Pinch of salt, it's going to help the onion sweat. I love the smell of onion. Couple of minutes until this is nice and translucent. I'm gonna add in my herbs and garlic and ginger. I cook the herbs and garlic and ginger until it's nice and fragrant. I'm using jasmine rice that I've uh, rinsed thoroughly until the water is nearly clear. And I soaked it in uh, warm water for about 15 minutes. So, I usually use one teaspoon salt to one cup of rice, like a little fresh black pepper. Give it a nice mix. And then let this cook a couple of minutes. It's going to help the rice absorb the liquid better between the toasting and the soaking. Now I'm going to add back the coconut. And my liquid. I'm using vegetable stock here. You could use chicken stock if you prefer. 
I'm using about one and three quarter cups because I find the jasmine rice, I cook it a little bit less. I'm going to simmer this for about 13 minutes or so until the liquid is absorbed and it should be perfect. After the liquid is fully absorbed, it's important to rest the rice for 10 to 15 minutes to loosen up the grains. Okay, let's take a look at the rice. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. And what I want to do is fold in the scallions. Here's a bonus tip for you. If you want the rice to look very pretty on the plate, just mold it in a bowl, any shape of bowl that you prefer. I like round bowls. Just press it down firmly and then indent it onto a flat plate, just like this. Wow, how amazing. I like to serve this toasted coconut jasmine rice with my string beans and ground meat, ground turkey that is. Mm. Look at this jasmine rice. The rice, incredibly delicious. It has the right amount of sweetness from the sweet coconut. I hope you give it a try.